this is our D-clutch actuator drive system. It's a ball valve and a pneumatic actuator and the D-clutch mechanism is in between. This is designed to isolate the actuator when you want to manually operate the ball valve. Um, I'll just swing this around and show you the other part of it. So at the moment there's air on this particular unit via what I've got here which is you know it's a three-way valve which is a remote mounted valve I mean we're just using this slide valve here the actuator releases put the air on actuator operates so if we want to manually isolate this unit and say for instance the air is on out in the field for compliance you really need to have a three-way isolating system so this is a spring return actuator on this unit with the 3-2 if I manually operate it and release the air, the spring, is, the spring is closing it when I release the air. Um, usually on these type of ball valves out in the field they're a spring return actuator because it's a fail safe device but the same system can operate in double acting using either a remotely mounted 5-2 valve or, or a Namur mounted valve. A separate video on that. So in this particular case this is considered the remote mount solenoid valve or something else mounted in the cabinet. If I release it, put air onto the system, the actuator operates. In this case the spring closes. it. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is the unit operated and to release the mechanism put it onto a manual function. You lift this little pin up here on the left hand side there's a little, little detented pin pull it up and the detent goes back down now what's happened here is that I swing this around a little bit and show you the air supply comes into here from your remote mounted solenoid valve that says inlet on there outlet here and the air supply is piped up to the actuator at the moment I've put that unit down to the manual function. There's a legend plate around the other side to show you auto and manual. And it's released the air out of the actuator. So we're now ready to manually operate this unit. And at the moment it was spring operated, so we're now letting this come through here to this situation and manually operating the valve. And if I want to put it back to automatic, I can then lift this back up again, pull the unit up, and you can see the air is now engaged. So this unit isolates the air supply at the same time allowing us then to manually operate the valve. Perfect for remote applications where you need to override either a ball valve or a butterfly valve or any other device here where the spring return or double acting pneumatic actuator has to interface.